Two steps forward, two steps forward. forward. Scenes from Pershing Hall, Fort Meade MPs conducting riot control training. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. First of all, I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year on this first Mead Week of 2024. Other stories this week include Mead High's First Responders Day. The Wellness Center can help you improve your run performance and some winter safety tips from the Army Combat Readiness Center. But before we get to those, a brief note from the Public Affairs Office. 2024 calendars and maps are now available. Individuals can find them at various locations on post, including Army Community Service, or you can stop by our offices here at 4409 Llewellyn Avenue. Anyone needing a large amount should call 301-677-1361. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't mention new installation guides. That's because we changed to a new publisher. So instead of an annual guide, we'll be publishing two a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. So stay tuned. Meanwhile, many of us make a New Year's resolution to get in better physical shape. The Kimbrough Physical Therapy Department and the Armed Forces Wellness Center team up every month for a run clinic that can help. Our biggest thing is just helping out individuals who are interested in improving their run form and overall health. So our goal is to give a class to one, analyze a person's run form, give them certain drills based on the pose framework, um, and then reanalyzing to see, hey, like, are there a couple of things here that we can give you that you can do at home to improve your running and then overall health? The clinic starts with classroom instruction on what good running technique looks like. Participants are then filmed and their running styles analyzed. When you video, you can go frame by frame and stop um, to analyze a person's run form or gait. Um, and you can draw lines and angles to, to really analyze more deeply. After analyzing the video, participants may find that improvement may be needed in many areas. Clinic instructors advise you to take it one step at a time. I think a major thing, especially when it comes to like physical therapists or physical therapy or trying to improve anything for anyone, right? You want to take it uh, small steps at a time, not, not trying to hit everything all at once because then generally people will tune out or they think, oh, it's too much. So we try to shoot for one or two things that will really impact the person's run form and really help them um, to one, be as efficient as possible and for two, so that they are actually compliant with following you know, the drills that we tell them to do um, and actually being able to do it on their own. The run clinic is held the second Tuesday of the month or by unit request. Contact the Armed Forces Wellness Center at 301-677-2089 for more information. Elsewhere, just before the holiday break, Mead High School's Homeland Security Program hosted more than a dozen emergency services units from Fort Meade and surrounding communities. The First Responders Day is an annual event organized by Mead High School's Homeland Security Program. This is our annual uh, first responder holiday drive and kind of career showcase. It started off seven years ago just as a holiday drive where the students go all throughout the Meat Cluster Schools, um, give donations to our first responders. You know, we're coming into the, the winter months and they're going to spend a lot of long nights in cold weather. You know, when uh, some uh, holiday lights go down or, or there's a weather event or there's an accident, you know, our first responders are out there. Um, the kids know that. They appreciate it so much. Although First Responders Day was started as a way to give back to the community, Hopper says it's morphed into a career day. We spend about an hour. The kids go and talk to all the first responders about their careers. You know, a lot of our kids are interested in law enforcement or emergency medical services or fire or especially canine. Uh, they love the dogs. Uh, so they get to talk to all the first responders about their careers. But then we finish the event with the presentation of the donations. We just want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting this. And Merry Christmas. So. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. In other news, winter can be especially challenging safety-wise. Here are some cold weather safety tips from the Army Combat Readiness Center. Exploring nature in the wintertime can be a magical experience. But winter adventures may require a little extra planning as the weather comes with hazardous conditions. With any trip, it's important to know before you go. Be prepared for the weather and dress for conditions. Layers are key. Winter weather can change rapidly, so be ready. Make sure someone knows your plans and drive with caution. Be all you can be. Readiness through safety. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.